Joining me now from Dallas, Texas, co-founder and chief strategist of GDP Advisors, Seth Denson. Seth, really, anytime one of these politicians says, you know, give me a couple weeks to figure out how to pay for it, you know what's coming. And when these people talk about uh, Medicare for all or free college or wiping out student loans or a uh, monthly stipend, someone <laughs> In our once great capitalist system that's being chipped away at by these maniacs, someone is going to have to pay for that. You know, someone once told me the problem with all this free stuff is eventually you run out of other people's money. Yes. Right? And, and the challenge you have here, you got universal health care, universal child care, universal college, universal jobs. The Democrats are addicted to the word universal. The problem is you have universal dependency and universal nanny state, right, if we move to this. And there's just no money to pay for any of it. Yeah, that was Margaret Thatcher, by the way. As for Andrew Yang, I've never heard such a smart guy <laughs> say such stupid stuff. I don't know what happened to him. I know he's a successful guy. I know he's a smart guy, clearly. Uh, but, boy, some of the stuff comes out of his mouth is, is really scary to me. Oh, let's move on to China and the trade deal. I have a question for you. Have the markets built in that there's going to be some sort of trade deal at some level? Or are they waiting poised to start buying like crazy once a deal is announced? I think the markets are reacting um, somewhat erratically based on the day-to-day -day information. The markets want a deal to happen, right? But I think the markets and those that are driving the markets also recognize that the president needs a deal to happen. Uh, and they're fairly confident that he's going to get something done. Now, what will that look like? I don't know. But uh, they're, they're definitely confident that he's going to get something done. I'm confident that he's going to get something done. I'm hopeful, at least. And I think that if he does, we, we, Here's the thing. We've got to stay true to our course. We've got to stay strong in this trade war. We've gone this right. far. It's too, it, we, we can't back down now. Right. And, and we're hearing the president saying that the Chinese economy is suffering right now, sustaining a, a lot of damage. Um, and, and this is what they're telling us, by the way, because we don't always know the reality of what's going on in China. And so if, if the Chinese economy is hurting right now, I think they're more likely to, to come to the table and, and sign a deal. And let's just hope. Uh, that there is a deal signed and that President Trump gets reelected because if one of these buffoons happens again in the White House, they can undo all this hard work that Donald Trump has been uh, trying to do on behalf of the American people the last two years. Seth, thanks. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.